Friday Night Lights turned into a Friday Night Fight outside Desert Oasis' football game. A scuffle last week led to a number of gunshots fired off outside when the game was still underway. Yeah, and tonight the school has clamped down on rules. How to go to any games at Desert Oasis? There are new regulations. Fox says Drew Andre was at tonight's game with the new changes everyone attending could see. And John and Jacqueline, it was a quieter game than normal with a lot less fans. However, there was more law enforcement here and the efforts to improve safety seemed to work. But at least one parent told us that he still wants to see more done. Okay. You guys are safe right here. Okay. Just hang on. Okay. These are the moments after gunshots fired off from the Desert Oasis parking lot last Friday night in the final minutes of the varsity football game. These students were at that game last week. It was a little chaotic, but it, we got through it, so at least nobody got hurt. But after I found out what happened, it was a little more terrifying. Tonight, police patrolled the parking lot and lined the entrance to the game. And Desert Oasis pushed up the Friday Night Lights 7 o'clock game versus Bonanza to 5.30. It's different, a little hotter early, but uh, you know I understand they want safety, so I'm cool with it. That's one of John Holland's sons sacking Bonanza's quarterback. But the energy surrounding the game wasn't the same as normal. At least half, half of what we usually have out here. For safety, the school is requiring all Desert Oasis students to come to the game with a parent. And only visiting students with valid IDs from that school can sit on the visitor's side. Well, they're adequately addressing the issue for the school games, but nothing else. Christopher Wagner's son is a freshman at Desert Oasis. After last Friday's game, he decided he won't let his student attend any more this year. And it wasn't just an ordinary fight. I mean, these kids were being brutal. Witnesses say pepper spray was used by police to attempt to break up the fight. Wagner's arguing for more transparency from the school and district and says the messaging to parents hasn't been the whole story. It was almost as if, oh, there's a shooting, nothing to see here, folks. It was all after the game. Well, that's an absolute, I mean, there's no other way to say it. You got to call, you got to call out the elephant in the room. They're lying. But it's something that all families should be able to come together is the safety of our kids, guns and fights and weapons in school and total transparency from the high schools. And according to the school, the rest of the varsity football games this season here at Desert Oasis will start at 530. Reporting live, I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.